Hi you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am sharing top 5 foundations which are available in India and they are also belonging to the drugstore. So they are all very very affordable foundations. So if you want to know which are my absolute favorite foundations available in India which are also very affordable and which are brown girl friendly and come in a wide variety of shades then please keep on watching but before that if you've not already subscribed to my channel then please make sure that you do click on that big red subscribe button down below and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, before we dive into the top 5 picks, I just want to make certain things clear and give out some information before we dive into the particular 5 foundations. So the first thing is my skin type. My skin type is oily and therefore I particularly favour matte foundations more than I favour dewy foundations. Mostly oily skin girls are going to be the ones who will love this particular collection of mine and my top 5 picks. The second thing is my foundation shades in the most famous foundations that other girls can relate if you know your shades in these particular foundations. Number one is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. My shade in that is the NC43.5. Second is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. In Maybelline Fit Me, I am shade 322 Warm Honey. So keeping these two foundation shades as the baseline for this video and then you can relate to your particular shade if you are like a shade lighter or a shade darker than me you can go out and select these foundation shades. My first pick for today's video is the NYX Total Drop Control Foundation. I am in the shade Golden Honey in this particular foundation and this is Honestly, this is a dupe for the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. It is absolutely stunning. It is the most lightweight foundation that I have, but at the same time, it offers such full coverage. It is very little amount for the price that it comes at. It is around uh, 1200 something, and then on discount, you get it around 800, 900. But even then, it's a very small amount. So I run out of this foundation very soon. This is my second bottle of it. But it offers brilliant coverage, so you don't need a lot of product, you just need two drops and it can cover your entire face. It covers all my acne scarring, my pits and everything but at the same time it's super lightweight. So every product over it blends really easily and it's like my favourite foundation in the summer season. It does not transfer, it's very long lasting, very lightweight and at the same time very full coverage. It has a semi matte finish, I would not say it's completely matte. And if dry skin girls want to use it, you can, but you might need a moisturizer because it can emphasize your dry patches. Uh, but for oily skin girls, you will love this foundation. Absolutely love it. It doesn't even emphasize your pores. It looks flawless. Absolutely flawless. Okay, so my second favorite foundation is the Nykaa Skin Shield Foundation. This foundation is also one of those absolute stunning formulas that blends so easily into your skin. It looks very, very natural, but at the same time covers all your scars, covers your hyperpigmentation, is very, very full coverage. You don't even need to build this foundation up. I've traveled with this foundation on every one of my trips and this tube is completely over. I've run out of this entire tube and I'm waiting for Nykaa to like sell makeup again so that I can repurchase this. It's also a very comfortable travel foundation because it comes in a squeezy tube. You get a lot of product and it's also very affordable. It's somewhere around 699 700 It is paraben free, cruelty free. So it's a very good formula all in all. It also feels very hydrating to the skin. So Dry skin girls would also really really like this. It's not fully matte. It's again a semi matte formula. It does not cling to your dry patches or anything. It leaves a little bit of dewiness. So if you're dry skin, you might not want to set it with powder later on. But I do set this foundation with powder so that it becomes more long lasting overall. So my third absolute favorite foundation is a new, new one to my collection. And to be honest, I've not tried it out that much. But I do absolutely love the entire concept of it and I honestly felt like I wouldn't because I'm such a full coverage foundation person. Uh, before I talk more about it, it is the Sugar Drop the Base Serum Foundation. Now this particular foundation I have done a dedicated re review video on and I tested it out during the whole lockdown. So I've not really worn it outside and I don't know how it performs uh, really out in the sun and out in the open and all of that. but. Just overall, this is the foundation what I'm wearing on my skin right now. It looks very healthy, looks very skin-like and I personally don't like medium coverage foundations. I'm a full coverage person but this foundation you can build up to make it full coverage. But at the same time, it will not like cover everything. It doesn't cover your hyperpigmentation that well. It doesn't cover your 
scar that well but you can build it up and then it will make your skin tone look very very even it blends out beautifully blends out super super fast so just all you need is like 2 3 dabs and your foundation has blended right into your skin it is very similar to the nyx total drop control but the nyx one is full coverage like the pigment in the nyx foundation is like very rich in pigment so it really covers all your hyperpigmentation and everything this pigment is like i would say a tad bit lesser than the nyx one so it does cover but not as much as that so i absolutely love this foundation it's very affordable also i picked it up for somewhere around 600 because it was on discount and it keeps going on discount many times and okay so my fourth pick for today's video is the pack hd liquid foundation this i have been using since forever now uh i feel like there was so much in this bottle i have still not run out of it and in that i am in the shade 4.5 Now this foundation does have a very prominent yellow undertone and even though I am yellow undertone this undertone throws me off a little bit but once it's completely blended into my skin and everything it looks really really good this is a full coverage foundation there's no in between about it it's not medium it's not light it is a little heavy on the skin it doesn't feel the most lightweight like the other three foundations this takes a little more time to blend personally it is not the most um I would say like lightweight feel foundation, but because it's so long lasting and it also covers really really well, uh, it it looks very good in photos. It looks good in videos. It looks good otherwise, but you can't travel with it because it's a glass bottle and also that pump mechanism gets ruined when you fly with it. So I've never really travelled. Uh, with this foundation, it's not my go-to foundation, but I do wear it quite a lot. And whenever I do, my skin does look stunning. But once again, it's like. It's my fourth pick, you know. Like there are other foundations I like more than I like this, and I just feel there's a weird way that this sits on the skin. And sometimes, after a point of time, I don't like it. After like really wearing it for five to six hours, I feel like it starts to like fade off and then collect around my nose area and around my T zone. And because of that, on my longer days, like where I have to like travel for very very long, I have to go like a Full day of wearing makeup, I don't gravitate towards this foundation that much. Okay, for the last foundation of today's video, once again, not tried it that much, so I can't really say how it will perform outside and in the real heat because I've been trying it in the lockdown phase. Uh, but this is the Rimmel Match Perfection 24-hour moisture hydration. foundation and i really really do love the formula i actually kept it at the last only because i don't gravitate towards it because i don't have the right shade in the foundation i have picked out the shade 402 bronze and this is very light for my skin so if you are my skin tone you need to go darker than 402 bronze because this is very light for me like i would say it's two shades too light for me so that's a little bit off but i absolutely love this formula it's such an everyday wear formula very lightweight very easy to blend once again this makes your skin look super duper healthy and blends so easily into the skin i find this formula very similar to the nika skin shield formula the only difference is that nika one is more matte and this is more dewy so more healthy looking and if you're like super super dry skin you might prefer this foundation over the nika one and you don't really have to set this foundation no matter what skin type you are because it does not transfer it sets completely into your skin and you don't really have to like set it with powder this is also very long wearing formula like i wore it for super long on all the days and my skin was looking super fresh very healthy very skin like so i feel like my exact shade is not available in this foundation and the worst thing is that you can't purchase this in any of the stores like is rimmel even available in any of the stores i've never really seen rimmel london makeup in stores i've only seen it on nika so if you know any store that has the foundation then let me know in the comments so that i can swatch and buy uh but that's like that's a story for a whole different time where i don't know when that's going to be possible again when we can go back to malls and shop uh, but that was it for today's video these were my top 5 picks of foundation which are available in india which are very very affordable and which are also brown girl friendly let me know in the comments below which are your favorite foundations amongst these which have you tried before and which are you waiting to buy and try after the lockdown and the whole uh, covid situation comes down a bit So if you did actually like this video please don't forget to hit the like button 
Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Click on that big red subscribe button. It's absolutely free. And join this beautiful family. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you all.